Hey, it's Earth Day. Yay, Earth. Biden has just issued grants of $7 billion to help fund solar projects. This is a renewable commentary of the day. Ever wondered if the sun ever gets tired of sending us all that free energy? Maybe it's time we gave it a paycheck. Well, it seems President Joe Biden is thinking along the same lines. On this fine Earth Day, he's announced a whopping $7 billion in federal grants for residential solar projects. Don't you think that's enough to put a solar panel on every anthill from here to Timbuktu? And maybe then some? Now, these solar projects are set to serve over 900,000 households in low and middle income communities. Talk about a sunny disposition. The Environmental Protection Agency is beaming, ready to hand out these grants and bask in the glow of renewable energy. Now, don't you think every little bit helps? Wouldn't you agree that these projects are no small potatoes? They're expected to reduce emissions by the equivalent of 30 million metric tons of carbon dioxide. That's like telling 30 million cows to stop trumpeting their moo gas and instead chill out and enjoy the sun's rays. On top of that, these solar initiatives will save households a cool $350 million annually. That's a lot of ice creams on a sunny day. Now, some people might say these environmental announcements are a clever move by Biden to energize young voters for his re-election campaign. After all, young people were a significant part of the coalition that helped him defeat the previous occupant of the White House back in 2020. But come on, let's be real. Who doesn't love a lot of good young people as a backup? Solar energy is becoming the cool kid on the block, reducing our reliance on those naughty fossil fuels that keep throwing greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. But like that expensive designer sun hat, the high costs of initial solar installation make it inaccessible for many Americans. Could this be a case of environmental policy flirting with election year politics? Only time will tell. In the past, Biden has used Earth Day as a canvas to paint his administration's climate initiatives. Last year, he created the White House Office of Environmental Justice a knight in shining armor for those affected by pollution and environmental harm. He has also had a bit of a tiff with GOP congressional leaders who want less regulation of oil production. Biden, on the other hand, argues that GOP policies are like a golden ticket for oil companies and could undermine U.S. efforts to compete with the Chinese in the renewable energy sector. In conclusion, the president believes these programs can create pathways to middle-class supporting careers, save people money, and improve their quality of life. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The taxpayer-funded Green Bank has faced opposition and concerns over accountability for how the funds get used. So, there you have it, folks. In the world of politics, it's always a sunny day for solar power, even when it's raining opposition. But remember, behind every cloud, the sun's still shining. Until next time, keep your panels clean and your energy green.